what actually is the um, uh, collateral for the borrowing? What is the actual... There isn't any. There isn't any. There, there is not that kind of uh, who has the most uh, gold or the most this or that, and then he runs the world. The economy is not based on money and credit. This is where the, the Ron Pauls and the right wings who want to get back to the gold standards, the Constitution, are ridiculous. Technologically, you can't go back to that. It's not that kind of world anymore. And it's even way more complex than I want to get into here. And I've done many shows the last 12 years with you on this stuff. Yes. In fact, I've explained the technological structure, why there is no money, and that's not the measurement. Right. What's interesting is that the digital environment has kind of collapsed over the last three years. People can't calibrate what anything is since everybody can get hacked and cloud computing's coming in and that you have bloggers you know you know very sophisticated computer bloggers saying this is it there can be no privacy even on the corporate level once everything's up there in the cloud or in there wherever the cloud is so there's a huge vulnerability digitally to the whole android meme itself and so banks aren't people who have money or some kind of property and they want to be protected they can't rely on the bank they don't have anybody to be a bank for them anymore because the bank structure doesn't work and someone can make a, a lot of money or power whatever they think they can get they can be another failed bill gates he eventually flipped into his opposite but they can be the new temporary bill gates and come up a way that offers security for people's values and valuables a new kind of banking thing, and I have talked about it with some of my clients, uh, and I know how it could be done, but I'm just throwing that idea out there. We need a new way to develop a trust mechanism where you don't have to carry all your belongings around with you. <laughs> yeah, it's, so you have to leave it somewhere. It's like we almost have to, to um, go back into the physical. Uh, but there isn't any. So what would be the physical if you say that? Well, it would just be that it isn't. It it doesn't go break down into ones and zeros. Somehow we have to get back into the material, the dollar. There actually has to be something. No, no, that's physical. that's a mistake. You can't go back, and that's why we're on the cost of an incredible spiritual or whatever you want to say, amazing revolution. What you go into is spiritual gifts, or the understanding of uh, anomalies, or the mystery landscape. You go into an amazing magical situation that Ion is the representative of. Ion's a technology, yes. and I suggest you listen to the show I broadcast uh, last Thursday, The Last Cash Flow, because now I'm doing my own show for the first time in my information career, and it's called Payday. <laughs> not, not, not. I'm in charge. <laughs> so when you say go back to the physical, you don't go back to the physical. That's an anthropomorphic projection of the old 3D body. Right, true. But I'm not saying go to this metaphysical 4C or 5D. We're already in a dimension with our internet. We're already off the planet and off the solar system and into a, a resonant membrane that nobody can visualize. But that's, that's our vulnerability though, correct? And the most vulnerable culture in the world today that is not capable from its historical uh, cultural mix and media mix, guess what that culture is? The one that's most incapable of handling what you just described. Who? The United States, the American, the North American literate, industrial, kinetic culture, a strong sense of an individual billiard ball kind of sensibility, all right, tough, rugged individual, uh, just the ownership of property, the whole thing that the printing press built up, because America is the only country built on the printing press and has that bias, that sensibility is a mystery to every other culture in the world and is totally incapable of handling the Internet. Now, the paradox is, is that... That individual genius is what makes this technology that, like a um, Trojan horse, undermines the American character or the American tradition. And that's why America's been a basket case as the policeman of the world for 40 years. I want to add this. So what Ion said, the culture that's more, the most, has the sensibility most able to adapt and enjoy the 21st century and what's coming, guess what that culture is? Oh, no, who? China. <laughs> So isn't it interesting? You see, these are Chinese chemical bodies when we're talking about Chinese people, but they have t chip bodies and TV bodies themselves. They got more than the chemical body. So you have the world, you know, brought together, unified under what I call the Android meme, the resonant node through the chip landscape over the last 30 years. And then as it shrinks, it makes the chemical bodies feel super powerful because the media is shrinking all around it. It's bigger than anything. 